In this short video I am going to run through the steps involved in downloading a drawing file from a third party website, bringing that drawing into AutoCAD and then copying that drawing into your own drawing. So here we have a very basic section through a windowsill and a cavity wall construction. Uh, I'm not worried about the level of detail in this at the moment, it's probably not uh, detailed enough, but in terms of showing you how to bring a drawing in from the internet and copying and pasting it in, uh, it'll, it'll suffice for this exercise. So what we need to do is we need to go onto the website and find a detail. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to put a window frame detail on sitting on top of my sill, just where I've got the mouse now. So I've already opened up uh, a website and uh, this is a particularly good one for technical drawings. There are lots of other options online, but I like this one. Click on Timber Windows and you can see here a whole long list of various different sections through windows. Some of them are the head of the window, some of them are the bottom of the window, some of them are through the mullions and some of them are for the left and right uh, jam. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the bottom of a window frame. So I'm just going to pick on this one here, timber opening window bottom frame section double glazed. If I do a left click on the PDF I get a little preview coming up here to show me what the detail is going to look like and that's fine, that's what I want. So now that I've identified which one I want by looking at the PDF, I come over to the drawing file. Now if you try to open the drawing file right now, what's going to happen is it will uh, it will stall the system because it will try and open the drawing file directly within Internet Explorer. So what we need to do is to save that drawing file and then open it up in AutoCAD afterwards. So to do that, hover over the drawing button and do a right click and then come down to save link as do a left click and here I'm just going to save it onto my desktop for now and you can see the name of it comes up there window sash bottom frame timber one so I'm just going to save that on there and it's downloaded and saved on my desktop so that's it I've taken a detail from that website now and I can go back into my CAD okay so now that I've got that drawing on my desktop I need to open it so I come over to the file open option here and I browse to my desktop and I go looking for the drawing and this is it here so select it and then go open and it will open up that drawing file in AutoCAD so what we were looking at a few moments ago on PDF on the internet is now sitting here as a drawing file a DWG file the level of detail that's in here is just what we're looking for um, however for creating something like a cross section through a building we probably don't need the uh, detail of the dimensions which you can see here in blue so there are a couple of ways of cleaning that up there on a, a, a layer up here that we could probably switch off um, but uh, just for easiness sake right now the easiest thing to do is just is to delete them so I'm just hovering over them and selecting them and pressing delete now as far as manufacturing the windows goes uh, yeah these dimensions are going to be um, excellent very helpful for us and it's a it's a good level of detail to have but for something like a domestic planning application which is what we're working on in class at the moment um, you don't really need to have the dimensions for that level of detail of what's going on in the window okay so that's that just cleaned up slightly now what we need to do is to take the interested part the bit we're interested in from this drawing and bring it into the drawing that had the windowsill on it it's very simple to do this so draw a selection box over the items you're interested in you'll note at this stage that I'm not bringing in the dashed line or the title block down at the bottom here I'm only interested in the object itself which is the window frame section so when that's selected do a right mouse click and we're looking for the clipboard option and we want to copy with base point so do a left click on that our command line is now saying to us to specify the base point so anywhere around about the bottom left will do fine so I'm doing a left click there and that's it it's now copied onto the clipboard what I need to do now is to either close down the drawing or minimize it makes no difference I'll minimize it for now and I'm now back to the drawing of the basic windowsill detail that we've got here so sitting on my clipboard I've got that cross section through the window frame so to bring that in here now I need to do a right click and again look for the clipboard option and paste or paste as block 
Um, I'm going to paste as a block, and that makes it, that will make it easier for moving it around later on. So I'm clicking left click on paste as block, and you can see now that the cursor appears with the window frame detail in exactly the same place as I picked as my base point a few moments ago. Now the one thing I suppose that needs to be modified about this is that right now the openable part, the sash part of the window is on the right hand side of the window frame itself but we want our openable sash to be on the left hand side of the section we've drawn. So one last thing we need to do here is to mirror this. So on your command line type in MI and press enter for mirror select the objects, click anywhere on it. Now because I've selected to paste it as a block that means by clicking anywhere on it the entire object gets highlighted. I don't have to draw a box around it. So I've selected the object, I'm pressing enter and I'm just going to draw a line down here, vertical line for my mirror. Do I want to keep or do I want to erase the source object? Uh, I'll erase it just for clarity. I'm going to erase it and now I'm left with the same object but mirrored around. I'm going to turn off my autographic mode for a second and I'm also going to turn off my object snaps for a second because the very last thing we need to do now is to move that into place. And It's a matter of just picking it up and moving it around. Now I'm just doing this by eye. What you'll have to do later on is you will have to make sure that you can see what's happened with me here now. I've actually got my window frame that's superimposed or overlapping onto my windowsill so that's not good so I'm going to move that again and in reality what you will need is you will need to leave a little bit of a gap there which you can show uh, your sealant going into it or you can show your uh, DPC and up the back side of it here you will be showing your air barrier so it's no harm to leave a little gap in there so that later on if you're putting in a dashed line for any kind of membrane uh, it will be easier to see it okay so that is taking a window frame detail from a third party website, downloading the DWG file from that website, opening that DWG file in an AutoCAD drawing and then copying it from that drawing into our drawing.